Coastal resources, such as fish, minerals and energy, are critical to people and nature. They support the sustainable blue economy, which is a key part of the global economy. However, they are threatened by a wide range of activities on land. Scientists at the International Resource Panel identified the numerous pathways through which land-based activities affect coastal resources. They found that the most harmful land-based activities are agriculture, activities related to ports and harbours, and aquaculture. These activities are threatening coastal biodiversity and fisheries to an alarming degree. The overall deterioration of coastal resources puts the sustainability of the blue economy at risk. Fishing, aquaculture and tourism are particularly vulnerable. Some initiatives are trying to deal with the problem, but mostly in individual sectors without enough coordinated action. The challenge is even bigger when the activities are miles away from the coast or even in another country, where they can degrade coastal resources of a whole region. So how can we solve the problem? The IRP experts suggested five ways to strengthen existing land-sea governance practices. First, use ecosystem-based management as a guiding principle. Second, enhance existing area-based management tools to better address land-sea governance. Third, improve coordinating mechanisms between different governance arrangements and sectors. Fourth, implement capacity building for land-sea governance practitioners. And fifth, fill in evidence gaps through scientific research. On top of these, we need new land-sea governance approaches, such as regional regulatory frameworks aiming to reduce the impact of land-based activities on coastal resources. Stakeholder communities representing land and sea-based activities. Monitoring and evaluation frameworks that reflect the connections between land and sea. And decision support tools that focus on impact pathways and not only the condition of coastal resources. In this way, we can reduce the impacts of land-based activities on coastal resources realize the sustainable blue economy and move closer to reaching the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 14, Life Below Water, and the other goals that it links to. Remember, tackling the impacts of land-based activities on coastal resources is a global priority to protect our oceans and our future, and the time to act is now. Learn more through the IRP report, Governing Coastal Resources, Implications for a Sustainable Blue Economy, available at www.resourcepanel.org reports.